In this tutorial, we're going to talk about web safe colors in Adobe Illustrator CS 5.1. So first of all, um, as I've mentioned in another tutorial on Photoshop, um, web safe colors are 256 colors that are guaranteed to display on any monitor or device. Um, the reason they exist is because older monitors use a VGA display system, which could only display 256 colors. So what happened was, as monitor technology advanced, more and more colors were able to be displayed on the screen, but people who had older computers could still only show those 256. So it meant that when you're designing for a screen, you had to make sure that uh, everyone who would be looking at your website would be able to see those colors, so you'd stick to those 256. Nowadays, however, um, most monitors and devices have can display millions of colors, um, over 16 million colors to be in fact. So just to be on the safe side, it can be a good idea to use web safe colors for certain tasks in web design, such as large blocks of background color that you may be using. Okay, so just to demonstrate what dithering is, if we look at this image in Illustrator, if we go to File and Save for Web and just go to the Optimize tab so we can see different versions of the image, the original versus what it's going to look like when we save it. And if we go over to the Properties panel on the right and reduce the number of colors down to eight colors, we can see I've chosen this number just to give us a dramatic difference in the effect. So we can see immediately dithering comes into play and the quality of the colors and the image looks pretty nasty. So this is what happens when a monitor can't display a color that you've chosen. So just be aware of this uh, fact, although it's not so much of an issue these days. Okay, so if we open up the swatch panel now, and from the pop-up menu I'm going to choose Open System Mac, and then I'm going to choose System Windows. So I get two swatches, one for Mac and one for Windows. And we can see in each of these, there are 256 colors, as I said. Unfortunately, there are 40 of those colors that are slightly different in comparison to a Mac versus a PC. So that's where the 216 comes from. If we choose uh, from that flyout menu, the web swatch, these are the 216 colors that are common to both Mac and PC. So if you use these 216 colors, you are guaranteed that they will display correctly. However, nowadays we've got hundreds of different types of display devices, from iPhones to iPads to tablet computers, and each of them have different display settings. However, you can be still pretty sure that the 216 colors will display perfectly on pretty much any device that you'll find for displaying graphics today. Um, if we go to the Appearance tab and click on the Fill Color, then we can have a look at the Flyout menu. I'm going to choose Web Safe Colors here. It's going to give you the hexadecimal code for HTML. Now this is useful again to have if you want to use uh, a particular color from Illustrator in a HTML document. Okay, open the swatch panel, and we're going to choose New Swatch from the Flyout menu, and we're going to choose Web Safe RGB. So we can name it, name our new color as the hex value is a good idea if you use the hash key, and then just copy the numbers from the hexadecimal uh, display below. This means that when we hover over the color in our swatch panel, we'll be able to see the hexadecimal value of it, which is very useful. Okay, next open the open open the color panel. You'll find that in Windows if it's not already open in your display or your workspace. And we're going to click on a non-web safe color. You'll notice that a little cube appears in the color panel. This means it's not web safe. But if we click on the cube, Illustrator will select the closest web safe color to our selection for us. Next we're going to look at limiting color guide to web safe colors. So we've got a color guide in Illustrator, the color guide panel. And from this, if we look at the 
uh, well, first of all, open the Color Guide tab. Um, if it's not already open, you'll find it in the Windows drop-down menu. And from here, there is a menu uh, from which we can choose Complementary Color Harmony. Next, I'm going to choose a different color uh, for the foreground color. And this is going to be our base color. Illustrator automatically selects the complementary colors of this base color for us and displays them in the color guide. So it's a very useful way to get uh, a color theme very quickly based on one base color or primary color that we want to use. If we click on the icon on the bottom left of the color guide, uh, this allows us to limit the color guide to work within a particular palette. So, for example, web safe colors. If we wanted to limit the number of colors that Illustrator will use in our color theme, we can select web safe colors from this flyout menu. Okay, using recolor artwork in Illustrator, if we open the color panel, and we're going to select one of the pieces of artwork in this image using the normal arrow, um, we can then notice that a color wheel appears in the properties panel at the top. We can click on this uh, to open the recolor artwork dialog box. Alternatively, you'll find this in the edit menu at the top of the screen under edit colors and then recolor artwork. There's a button, a button near the bottom of this recolor artwork box that allows us to limit the colors to WebSafe again if we do that and then click OK and you'll notice that the colors will change between the original artwork that we didn't select and the new artwork which has now been modified to WebSafe colors. You can use this tool to recolor any artwork that you have in Illustrator. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Adobe Cooler. Again, I mentioned it in a previous Photoshop tutorial, but now if we actually open the Cooler website itself, so if you go to www.cooler.adobe.com, from here you can actually sign up for a new account, a new Adobe account, and you can access thousands of color themes that have been created by a community of designers all over the world. So for example, if we type in the word chocolate into the search bar here, Cooler will display a list of results uh, from related to this theme. So, uh, and you can, if you're signed in, which I uh, am signed in here in this example, you can actually download any of these swatches and import them into Photoshop or Illustrator, Fireworks, or any of the Adobe Suite and you can also create your own themes in Cooler and download them so if you click on the create button on the left side of the screen it brings up a, a new window which allows you to create your own color themes and it allows you to choose which rule you want whether that's monochromatic, complementary and so on and select five colors for uh, a basic theme that you can download then and use in your swatches and in your own designs ultimately. So if we click on from an image this is a nice feature that Cooler has where you can actually upload an image, uh, a photograph or any graphic and Cooler will identify a theme based on the colors in that image. You can also use images from Flickr, from your own account or from anybody else's account and there's plenty that you can explore and discover in Cooler, but ultimately it's a way to get uh, color harmony themes that will work well together in your designs. You can also access Cooler from Illustrator in the same way you can from Photoshop. So if we flick back to Illustrator and go to the Windows drop-down menu, choose Extensions and then Cooler. Again, you need to make sure you have an internet connection for this to work. And Cooler gives us a list of uh, the most recent themes that have been added to the site. And we can also search here, so if we type the word beach and click search, we can find lots of results here. And at the bottom of the, of the window there is an add to swatches button, which will automatically add any of these swatches to our swatch in Illustrator. Okay, so recoloring artwork to modify colors across the site. We looked at recoloring artwork for web safe colors. 
But in this example, you can actually change the colors across an entire web design. So the first thing we're going to do is lock the logos. Um, so if we select the logos and then choose Object Lock Selection, this means that those uh, objects will be locked and anything we change will not affect them. Next we're going to select all, so Command A or Control A on a PC, um, and it's going to select everything except those logos that we locked. So we're going to change all the colors except the uh, logo, and also doing this technique doesn't change the colors in your photos or imported images. So if we go to edit at the top of the screen, choose edit colors and then recolor artwork, or you can click that color wheel icon in the control panel at the top. And if we click on the magnifying glass in the dialog box, and then click on one of the colors in our uh, list here to highlight that use of the color in the image. So we can see when we click on one of these colors in our Illustrator um, canvas, we can see that color becomes highlighted so we know where that's used. We can also drag one color on top of another one in order to change it. So if we had two different shades of blue and we wanted to reduce that to one, drag one onto the other and click on the flyout menu to choose just one color. And at, when you've finished there, just tick the recolor art box at the bottom of the window and you will see in your main image the colors have been changed. You can use this technique to change all of the colors in your site um, and it's a quick and easy way to do that.